why is there a difference between a Bitcoin full node integration, like for example, Bitcoin Core or LibBitcoin or BitNode or whatnot, and a Bitcoin library like nBitcoin or Bitcoin J? Where, where's the difference here? So Bitcoin nodes, um, they, they, are, they are quite limited in the feature they offer. So the, the goal of Bitcoin node is to verify transaction and on that, that's their core function. And on top of this, if you want to build some system, for example, a wallet, uh, you have to pass by this, uh, RPC. Uh, so it's kind of an API that you can call on your node to, to do whatever you want. And the problem is that this RPC API is very bad. Uh, so it has lots of legacy things inside it. It very, it very often it break. Uh, so very often there is breaking change. When you want a change to it, it takes forever because like you, you, you have like one update of Bitcoin node every, I don't know, six months. And even if you want a picture and you develop this picture, you still have to spend lots of energy to get it merged into, into the Bitcoin core source code. So on my side at the beginning, I always tried to use Bitcoin core full node as much as I can, but you, you, you still feel crippled because Bitcoin can do so much more things than what the Bitcoin full node allow you to do. So, uh, that's why like people are using, are using, um, a library. So a library gives you way more control. The, with the library, you can actually validate a transaction, but to a certain extent, you can validate some stuff, but not everything. But on top of it, you can recreate your transaction from ground up. And, uh, imagine that you want to do some layer two things. Like, uh, like, for example, working on Lightning Network, Lightning Network on working on DLCs. This kind of feature will never be coded into Beacon source nodes because the, uh, it's kind of like out of scope. So you still need, you know, those kind of libraries to, to have way more flexibility into what you, you, you can do.